dear students today we introduce simultaneous equation models so far our discussion was based on single equation models in which there is a single dependent variable and one or more explanatory variables and in the single equation models our aim is to estimate and also to predict the conditional mean value of y on the basis of the chosen values of x on the basis of the fixed values of x expected y given x and in such models it is assumed that the cause and effect relationship if any is between x and y that is x is the cause y is the effect and this cause and effect relationship is assumed to be unidirectional unidirection the cause and effect relationship if any is assumed to be unidirectional x x is explanatory variables are the cause why is the effect but there are many situations in which such one way or unidirectional cause and effect relationship will not be meaningful there are many situations in which such a one way or unidirectional cause and effect relationship will not be meaningful this happens if y is determined by x as explanatory variables and some of the x as in term in turn are determined by y that is y is determined by x and x is determined by y that is the situation in which there is a two way flow of information among economic variables that is a situation in which that is there is bidirectional not unidirectional bidirectional or two way cause and effect relationship between economic variables that is one economic variable affects the other the other economic variable is affected by the first so so if there is a two way also known as simultaneous if there is a two way or simultaneous relationship between y and x x s x or x s if there are many explanatory variables the distinction between dependent and independent is not meaningful if there is a two way or simultaneous relationship between variables y is determined by x 
sum of the x in turn determine y then the distinction between dependent and independent is not meaningful it is in such a situations it is better to lump together a set of variables that are determined simultaneously in such a situations it is better to lump together a set of variables which are determined simultaneously by the remaining set of variables and uh, this is exactly what we do in simultaneous equation models so in simultaneous equation models we lump together a set of variables jointly determined and a system explaining the joint dependence of variables is called simultaneous equation models a system explaining joint dependence of variables is called simultaneous equation model in such a models there is more than one equation in the single equation models there is only one equation one dependent variable in the simultaneous equation models as we determine many variables together there is more than one equation actually there is one equation for each jointly dependent endogenous variables each jointly dependent variables so in the simultaneous equation models there are more than one equation there is one equation for each jointly dependent or endogenous variable also remember that in the simultaneous equation models this jointly dependent or jointly determined variables are known as endogenous variables jointly determined variables are known as endogenous variables they are stochastic the other variables the non stochastic variables in the context of simultaneous equation system is known as exogenous or predetermined exogenous or predetermined we will clarify exogenous or predetermined in detail later anyway the variables are classified into endogenous and predetermined endogenous variables are those variables whose values or whose value is determined within the model predetermined variables are those whose value is determined outside the model the distinction will become more clear when we consider examples and uh, in the simultaneous equation models unlike uh, the single equation models we will not estimate the parameters of a single equation individually unlike the single equation models in the simultaneous equation models we will not estimate the parameters of a single equation without taking into account the information contained in other equations of the model stated differently in a system of simultaneous equations you cannot estimate the parameters of a single equation without considering the information contained in other equations or without considering the interrelationship between variables modeled together now a crucial question is what happens if we estimate the parameters of a single equation embedded in a system of simultaneous equations what happens if we estimate the parameters of a single equation embedded in a system of simultaneous equations using the method of ordinary least squares 
without taking into account the other equations of the model. Remember that a very crucial assumption for the application of <coughs> OLS is expected xi ui is equal to zero. <coughs> A very crucial assumption for the application of OLS is expected xi ui is equal to zero. Now, this assumption is automatically satisfied if x is non stochastic, fixed in repeated samples. If x is stochastic, then the requirement is that covariance between xi and ui is zero. Now, as we have stated in different times, if uh, this assumption is violated, then the OLS estimators are not only biased, they are also inconsistent. That is, even when n approaches to infinity, even when n approaches to infinity, estimators will not converge to, to the true parameters. The estimators will not converge to the true parameter values. So, we cannot estimate parameters of a single equation, which is part of a system of equations, a simultaneous equation system, without taking into account the other equations of the system. If you apply OLS to estimate the parameters of a single equation, which is part of a system of equations, the resulting estimators will be biased and inconsistent. That is, the estimates will not converge to the true parameter values. Now, to explain further, consider this model. Consider a system of two equations, y1 i is equal to beta 10 plus beta 1 2 y2 i plus gamma 1 1 x 1 i plus u 1 i y2 i is equal to beta 2 0 plus beta 2 1 y 1 i plus gamma 2 1 x 1 i plus u 2 i now in this formulation <coughs> y1 and y2 are endogenous x1 is exogenous or predetermined. We, as it is clear from this equation, y1 depends on y2, y2 depends on y1. So it is a simultaneous equation system. y1 and y2 are jointly determined. The question is, can we estimate the parameters of the first equation without considering the information contained in the second equation and vice versa? The answer is no. This is because if we estimate, to estimate the parameters of the first equation, we have to show that y2 and u1 are not correlated. And in the second equation, y1 and u2 are not correlated. But as you can see, consider the first equation. u1 determines y1. And u1 determines y1. And y1, u1 determines y1. y1 In the first equation, u1 determines y1, then y1 is also determined by y2. y1 is, y1 is determined by u1, y1 is also determined by y2. So it is possible that there will be a correlation between u1 and y2 in the first equation. In the second equation, you know that u2 determines y2, 
y2 is determined by y1 u2 determines y2 y2 is also determined by y1 so it is possible that u2 and y1 will be u2 and y1 will be correlated so in the first equation it is possible that u1 and y2 will be correlated in the second equation it is possible that u2 and y1 will be correlated so that the condition required for the application of OLS will be violated. So, if uh, we have a system of equations, a simultaneous equation system explaining the joint determination of variables, you cannot estimate the parameters of a single equation without uh, considering the information contained in the other equations. If uh, you apply OLS, then the resulting estimators will be biased and also inconsistent. That is, the bias will not disappear even if the sample size increases indefinitely. As this example shows, in the second equation, y2 is determined by u2, y2 is determined by y1 also, so that u2 and y1 will be correlated. Similarly, in the first equation, y2 and u1 will be correlated. So, this is the nature of simultaneous equation system. So, simultaneous equation system is defined as a system explaining joint determination of variables. In such models, these jointly determined variables are known as endogenous variables. And in the simultaneous equation models, there will be more than one equation or there will be one equation for each endogenous variable. There will be one equation for each endogenous variable. So, this is the meaning of simultaneous equation models.